Hey everybody, um, it's the new moon. Time to bring good things into our lives. Um, time to tell the universe what we want for the month um, so that it can manifest before the full moon. Um, welcome to my woo wooness. So I make these clearing baths and you're gonna say, what the heck's a clearing bath, Susan? And I'm gonna say, well, um, it helps you uh, soak away negativity. It helps you clear your etheric energy or your aura. And um, I took a lot of aromatherapy classes and I took a lot of crystal classes and um, I do a lot of energy work. So I started to understand that just doing a clearing bath was okay. But I could actually make clearing baths that were supposed to do a specific thing. So if I wanted to bring in abundance, I knew what crystals and what um, essential oils to put in, in this bath salt to clear out any energy that blocked me from having abundance. Um, also, um, the one we're making today is called Walking on Sunshine. I named these after disco songs because that's what makes me happy. Um, and happy matter. So, um, Today we're making Walking on Sunshine. It smells like the beach. It has um, a lot of happy properties and a lot of happy crystals, and we're gonna go ahead and make it right now. So in this bucket, in this bucket, there is Epsom salt and sea salt. So sea salt kind of helps clear your energy. Sea salt is like, I would say, there's nothing like your mama to give you a good bath. So I think sea salt, they say the sea is the great mother, so that's where I go with that, you know how that is. Also, I got a bunch of Epsom salts in here. Now Epsom salts, um, they pull toxins out of your body, and they pull, and that will raise your uh, etheric vibration just because you're getting rid of something that's bad for you. So we need to work on mind, body, and the spiritual level. Now into here, because my legs get so dry, I'm gonna grate some cocoa butter. Cocoa, you better don't. Um, cocoa, you better do, that's what I say. So I'm just gonna grate some of this. I got this grater thing at Ikea a long time ago and I never used it. And then cocoa butter came into my life and I was like, hello, savior, I think I love you. So I'm just gonna grate a little bit of that in here. We don't want anybody falling in the tub, right? Not at my age. I'm really not that old. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm over the hill, but you know. So um, I'm gonna mix that up just a tiny itchy, itchy bit. And in here, I have um, jojoba oil. I also have um, a little rosehip oil, some vitamin E, and all of my essential oils. It's a proprietary essential oil blend. And when somebody says it's proprietary, that means I worked hard on this. And I'm not telling you, because I worked hard. So, um, in it goes. Jojoba oil is the closest, like, to our skin, the, I guess, the, the components of it. So it absorbs really readily into your skin. Um, I, on my hands, I only use, I use straight jojoba oil. Um, and it helps me. I don't get hangnails anymore. Um, so I'm just mixing that all up. And you can see how that goes. Now, um, tonight is the, today's a new moon, which is a time for you to write down things that you want to see come into your life. Um, there are lots of rituals that you can do that with. I always tell people to take a good bath first and then do your rituals because you want to clear out any energy that doesn't serve you so that when you ask, you're coming from a place of, of purity. Like you're coming from a place of, okay, I'm ready. There's no funky energy on me that's gonna block me. So, Walking on Sunshine is all about happiness. So not only do I have the essential oils in, in this bucket that promote that for aromatherapy, I also put in some crystals. And this will sit for a week or so um, curing with these crystals before I bag them up and send them out. But this is a smoky quartz. Smoky quartz will take negative energy and turn it into positive energy. And we're just gonna stick it right down in there. I got another one, because I, 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 
my, my point of making these bath salts is, is to pull out negativity. So smoky quartz is terrific because you never have to clear it. It's like your best little friend. No matter what you do to it, it's always going to be there. It's always going to serve you. Smoky quartz are great stones to carry in your pocket, to have uh, around rooms where conflict may happen or rooms where you want to have peace. I dig it. It's my favorite. Um, I also put in some rose quartz. Rose quartz is pink. Um, rose quartz is all about love. It's just big old love. So to be happy, you got to have love because love's the only thing that's real, right? Um, I also have a Venturine. Green like this brings in happiness. I also have a couple pieces of sunstone. I had more pieces of sunstone, but I think I put them in bags. Sometimes I accidentally shovel too hard. <laughs> but um, sunstone, look if you can look this up on the internet, sunstone. And it's not like that, um, it's not goldstone, where it has all the shiny sparkles in it. Um, it, it looks like this. It brings in sunshine, really it does. So we're gonna stick those in there. And I'm gonna put a lid on it. And we're gonna, we're gonna put it to bed. Um, and later on, once it cures a little bit, um, I'm gonna come and do energy work on it. So you're gonna say, what does that mean? Well, um, look up Reiki. Look up energy healing. Um, I teach Reiki. I'm a Reiki master. I've been that for lots and like 10, 15 years. So um, it's important uh, to understand how energy works because everything has energy. You have energy. I have energy. Um, things that you touch have energy. Places have energy. Trees and animals, everything has energy. If you are uh, talking to a spirit, if you're doing mediumship, you're connecting to that energy of that spirit. So you need to keep your energetic vibration at a high frequency because the higher your vibration is, the less likely lower vibrations or poopy things will come into your life. And we just have to say no to poopy things. That's why I say happy matters because when you're happy, your etheric vibration gets higher and higher so that you don't bring in negative energy. Now, I'm not saying that I don't sit on the couch and mope because I do, I do. But there comes a point in time where I realize I have to stop it and I have to get up and try to find something that makes me happy. So um, whether that is watching some TikToks and uh, laughing or feeling better about yourself, um, <laughs> do that. But um, work on being happy or work on, work on bringing some joy into your life. Um, I used to have a teacher that would tell me that if you're not happy in a situation, get out of it. And if you can't get out of it, then make peace with a part that doesn't make you happy and then make a plan. So, um, it's not all desolation. Look at the happy stuff. This quarantine is making me very deep. I, I hope you know. But um, the sun's shining today and I have on makeup, so thanks for that. Um, these bath salts are on my website, susanrussiancollective.com. And um, thanks for watching. And I hope you enjoyed it. So if you don't mind, if you would um, hit the subscribe button and like my video. When you like my video, it, I, I don't know if this is true, but somebody told me, if you get a lot of likes, it puts it in the feed so other people can see your video. So I don't know if that's true, but anyway, um, like and subscribe. And if you hit that notification bell, it will tell you every time I put up a video, if you want to know. Thanks a bunch for watching. Have a fabulous day. Um, love you, Mises to Pieces. Bye.